We're talking about square matrices, and one really important square matrix is the identity matrix. We'll talk about that in a moment. First, let's look at three matrices A, B, and I. And I want to multiply A times I. So let's do that really quickly. I have 1 times negative uh, times 0. Oh, shit. God damn it. We're talking about square matrices, and one really important ma square matrix is the identity matrix. We'll talk about that in a second. First, let's take a look at matrix A, B, and I. I first want to multiply A times I. So going across, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 3 plus 0 is 3 and 0 plus 0 is 0. So notice 1, negative 1, 3, 0, 1, negative 1, 3, 0. I got the same matrix A back from this, from this product. This is actually just matrix A. And now let me multiply I times B. So here's I and here's B. I get 2 plus 0, 2. I get 3 plus 0, 3. I get 0 minus 1, negative 1. And I get 0 plus 4, 4. And again, 2, 3, negative 1, 4, exactly the same. This is matrix B. So what we're noticing here is that when we multiply by this special matrix I, we get the matrix we started with. So A times I will just be A. I times B will just be B. I is called the identity matrix. It's the identity matrix of order 2. So an identity matrix is a matrix that has ones down the diagonal, and everywhere else it has zeros. Others, other orders of square matri matrices have them too. Here's the identity matrix of order three. Here's the identity matrix of order four. And just like you saw before, if I multiply a three by three matrix by this matrix, it will remain unchanged. So these, uh, these are kind of like the multiplicative identity of real numbers, which is the number one. You multiply. 5 times 1, you get 5. So the multiplication leaves the number unchanged. The identity matrix is really important in the algebra of matrices, as you'll see in a coming episode.